Hello and welcome back to the channel. Super glad to have you here. So in today's video, we are going to do a simple and easy to follow video about the benefits of cam oil, its essential oil, also some of the side effects and the ways we can use cam oil in order to help with certain discomforts and certain symptoms as well. So stay tuned. So here I am at my favorite place to, in, uh, to purchase herbs and high quality spices as well iherb.com. I highly recommend you try it. If you haven't tried it, then uh, you are simply missing out in my opinion because it has everything from essential oils to uh, face masks to uh, skincare and hair care as well. And it has uh, herbs in bulk. So apart from that, I also use Amazon when I don't find what I'm looking for in iHerb. Simple amazon.com, write what you need and you'll find a range of really good products even in bulk as well and also the reviews are right here apart from that we've got ebay also a really good selection and as i was scrolling through i found this wonderful organic cam oil one uh, one kilo and this is the prices for that as well and this is a shop that i rely on they've got 99.6 percent positive reviews and that's really important when it comes to purchasing herbs and spices they want to make you want to make sure that they are good quality and that you are buying from a reputable uh, source as well so another really good one is mountain rose herbs if you are able to purchase through them i highly recommend you give them a shot unfortunately at this stage i'm not able to use them because we live here in uh, Finland, so it's not one of the, uh, the countries that they ship to, but I'm seriously considering getting a, a US-based address from an exterior company and then ordering and trying them out because I've got, heard a lot of great reviews about them. So this is the purchasing on the internet side of things. Also, if you have a health food store that's close to you or a herbalist, this is the best way to go. But this is for anyone that doesn't have access to a local shop. So or that they want to buy in bulk as well. So in this video, we will talk about the wonderful power of camoil. My apologies, the wonderful power of camoil in all its forms. So camoil is actually considered a really sacred, amazing herb because it's very calming and it has a specific effect on the digestive system and on the nervous system. So anything related to anxiety, anything related to stress, to uh, just you know pain relief as well it's also good for that and also when it comes to calming down children babies and children uh, cam oil has been used historically in helping to calm down colic and helping to calm down crying and tantrums and all that sort of stuff of course um you know herbal wise so there are two species of cam oil we have the roman cam oil and we have the german cam oil as well and these are two species that are uh, virtually you know the similar properties and ways to apply them but the German camo is specifically used for uh, gynecological problems um, uh, issues with the uh, female hormone system also issues with um, just simply balancing out everything when it comes to the female system so the different parts of the camo that are used of course the main part and the most important part we have are the flowers and these are beautiful. They're very aromatic and they're also very rich in that uh, active ingredient and the active uh, essential oil. The flowers are simple to dry. So if you are having camoil flowers growing in your yard or growing around your area away from pollution, I highly advise you to take the opportunity and harvest as much as possible because they're wonderful and they keep their aroma, aroma rich all year long. So I've had the chance to harvest some cam oil as well as some other herbs as well around my area in the forest. So that was amazing to get the chance to do that. And I have the, uh, the stock filled for many months now. So apart from that, it's also being used for different parts. And we'll get to that later on. But uh, if you have a... a a dehydrator you can simply dehydrate the cam oil that way but i do not recommend a dehydrator because usually the cam oil flowers dry super fast because they're very light as well another way you can use the cam oil is you can use it through an essential oil so here we've got we've just simply entered in the search bar in iherb um, the cam oil essential oils and we got a good variety of essential oils and as it when it comes to essential oils as we covered before it's really important to make sure that they 
you purchase them from a reputable brand, you make sure that they're pure as much as possible. And even when they're uh, mixed with a, a carrier oil, make sure that the ratio of camo to the carrier oil is a good ratio. For example, here we've got a couple of ones from uh, the different companies here. We've got the Roman camo oil and another one from the Roman camo oil. So I'm just going to open these two and have a look and we'll show you how to best select a camo oil oil. And also we have the ones from the Now Foods and we have other ones which are basically Peaceful Sleep, which is a blend of different uh, essential oils and the main part is the cam oil. So here it says 100% pure. If you can look um, and you need to also pay attention to the warnings as well. So this is a really good quality 100% pure cam oil, oil, oil and this is the Roman um, species as well of that cam oil, oil. So unfortunately the reviews are not that good. Some of them are one star and some of them are five stars. So you need to scroll through and have a look. Apart from that, there is another uh, type as well. We've got the 100% pure cam oil oil. And then when you look at the ingredients, yes, 100% pure cam oil, Roman oil. And there's other ones that have been uh, mixed with jojoba oil I just had a look at previously. So that is maybe one of the things that you would like to look at. And if you also have a local essential oil company, it's really important to support local businesses as well when it comes to that um, because they can be quite good as well. So don't overlook them. Uh, so the essential oil is distilled from the fresh flowers. It's been used since medieval times and it's been used for so many different things from uh, eczema to asthma, also helping to calm down when it comes to sleep. And the true cam oil, oil is extremely expensive because it's also considered really hard to uh, get the uh, a good amount of the essential oil from the flowers. So it's, it's a process and it has a deep blue color. So this is one of the ways to know is your cam oil essential oil the right one? Is it the most purest deep blue color? because it contains the azolinins that give it the color and that are responsible for the active component for the healing process of chamomile oil. Another way is simply using the chamomile uh, homeopathic remedies. And that is one of the way, ways that I've used chamomile before in the past when it comes to my own children. So that is a quite popular way of using the chamomile oil. So let me just correct that. As you can see here, we have different brands and most of these brands you can not only find on iHerb, you can find on Amazon, you can find on eBay and so many other different sites as well. I'm just opening the iHerb here because it's the most easiest and the, the most relied on that I use. So we have different strengths. We have 30C, we have 6C, we also have blends for coughs and mucus when it comes to children. You do want to be careful with these. They are quite good. I've used them personally before, but you do want to be careful when it comes to the dosages, of course, when it comes to children and just check out the reviews before you purchase. So with the uh, homeopathic remedies, Camoilia in specific, you can simply use as tablets or you can dilute them in a tincture and it can be really helpful for teething, for colic, for babies, for painful periods as well, as we said previously for the female hormone system and also during labor. Now during labor, I have not used Camoilia, I've just simply used Arnica and this is the type of Arnica that I used in order to relieve the pain and to uh, help with topical application. It is the Arnica dissolvable tablets and I also use the Arnica cream as well. So this is a good brand of the teething relief for children that I've previously given it a shot and I've had great success. Back to cam oil, we have the different ways to apply cam oil. We've got the flowers. Now the best way to use cam oil, in my opinion, uh, as a like common way and easiest way is simply to infuse the flowers in water and then drink a cup at night for insomnia, for anxiety, and for stress. You can add about 400 mils of the strained cam oil infusion to a baby ba baby's bath water. It really helps for them to relax and just enjoy a restful, peaceful sleep as well. And good for the skin um, because cam oil helps to uh, relieve the skin from different problems such as eczema, such as itching and dry skin as well. So it's something to go to. Usually I either put cam oil or oat 
in the baby's bath water and for my toddlers as well and it really helps to you know uh, lubricate the skin and also help to uh, give them a peaceful sleep as well another way you can use it is through a tincture now i know they used to sell in here in high herb a kid friendly glycerin based alcohol free camo tincture along with other herbs such as lemon balm i previously used that and that was absolutely amazing unfortunately now i'm not able to find it so if i do find it i will link uh, the exact product in the description box below for anyone that's interested because this has seriously helped me so if you can get your hands on a alcohol free chamomile tincture it's the best way to go when it helps to relieve the anxiety and relieve the the stress and also help to encourage a calm uh, mood for children as well so the tincture can be used for irritable bowel syndrome for insomnia and for basic tension so with my tinctures if you've been watching me for a while now you know that i would love to opt for the glycerin based alcohol free tincture now it's up to you i find that the glycerin based is much more gentle on the body and it also helps when it comes down to the children and for anyone not able to take a alcohol free based tincture so uh, another way is simply using it as an ointment. So they sell different chamomile ointments here in the store, but they also have um, a really easy way to add chamomile to your ointment. So if you have an ointment, if you have a lotion, a natural body lotion, you can simply add about two, two to three drops of the chamomile essential oil to that lotion, mix it up, and then you have the properties infused of chamomile into that lotion as well and into that ointment. So when it comes to the ointment or the lotion, you can use it for insect bites, for wounds, for itching eczema, and also for uh, you know a female uh, discomfort as well when it comes to that another thing is using the chamomile in a mouthwash and this is quite popular as well so it's specifically great for mouth inflammations for gingivitis for toothache as well um, but mostly for mouth inflammations and gum inflammations you can use the uh, chamomile inf infusion to uh, use it as a mouthwash and you can also add a little bit of sea salt to that infusion to help in uh, enhancing its antibacterial properties and helping to disinfect the mouth as well you can also use it for an eye wash so for anyone having trouble with a strained eye conjuvitis uh, also pain in the eye as well that's you know it's not quite serious but you've also had it checked by the doctor and you've you know uh, crossed out any other issues you can use the chamomile I wash you can simply dissolve five or ten five to ten drops sorry of the camo tincture in warm water and then you can just dip a cotton ball or a cotton pad into it and then place it on the eye as well really really calming for the eyes another way you can use cam oil is as a inhalation so you can simply add two tablespoons of the flowers to a, a bowl of boiling water and you can use that for hay fever for asthma bronchitis for colds and flus really amazing when it comes to that so we're just getting back to the different types of cam oil that are available here as you can see mostly essential oils on ebay but this one sounds pretty good and it's from the uk so let us check it out another way to use the essential oil as we said is uh, through the lotion just add about five drops of the cam oil essential oil along with 50 mils of distilled witch hazel to a lotion and just rub it on the parts that are affected uh, for inhalation another type of inhalation apart from the ones we talked about for asthma and bronchitis you can use it for whooping cough you can use it for asthma as well uh, you can put two to three drops in a saucer of warm water and then you leave it in the room at night to inhale. So we've talked about the benefits of cam oil and the different parts that the cam oil can be used for. Let's have a look at the side effects, the caution points that we need to be aware of. Who cannot take cam oil and what are the side effects to look out for? So one thing I just want you to be sure is cam oil is very gentle. It's one of the gentlest herbs that has mild side effects. But if you exceed the dose of the herb, there can be problems, of course, like with anything in life. So uh, do not exceed the stated dosage and also avoid the oil completely in pregnancy and also uh, to avoid it as a uterine stimulant. So please avoid it during pregnancy. 
uh, the cam oil in all its forms, the essential oil, the tincture, and the uh, infusion as well. Cam oil, in some instances, can cause contact dermatitis, specifically if you are sunbathing on damp cam oil lawns. So this is quite rare as well. So make sure you do not sunbathe in the damp cam oil lawns or like a bush of cam oil. And also make sure not to exceed the dosage like with any other herb or medicine out there. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know if you are interested in more videos like these, more detailed videos where we discuss and break down the specific uh, medicinal herbs and then discuss all the properties that way. So if you enjoyed this video, give this video a big thumbs up, like, share and subscribe. We would love to have you on board. Take care and have a great day. Bye bye.